immune systems. Okay. But that's that's a minor thing, this this warning spam. Well, wait. Is it? Two event systems in the scene? Who, who has the other? Probably some color. Okay, that could, would you be some kind tell me? I probably this. Oh, yeah, that's. Okay, come. No more spamming. Okay, so. Yeah, hello. Hello there. So, this is the scene. Sanctuary. Why is it choppy like that? Okay, something is broken with the lighting. I don't know what I've done again. But it, it won't be a big fix. I think I baked it incorrectly or saved it somewhere where I shouldn't. I don't know. The important thing here today is this tiny computer. And this tiny computer is. Ah, okay, the battery is low. Yeah, okay. So this tiny computer here isn't doing much apart from one very, very cool thing. So, <laughs> and the thing is, uh, Sanctuary is rendering most of its. Uh, uh, like interfaces and nodes, all that with HTML and JavaScript, and uses a separate process of a browser to, to render that stuff. And I'm using for that package a ZF browser. It's quite, it's quite okay. I wish it was updated more, but it's okay. And and yeah, so what you see here is the console, it's Eris, something, uh, it's her realm. It's basically a debugger for the architecture. But it, in this case, I just put like an additional thing here to test, to test something very cool. Because uh, what I think is very important is to add possibility to like have pictures, images, in notes. Because for now, yeah, there's this text, there's like text editing, basically text editing and so on. It is still also buggy, I need to work on it. Oh. Yeah, but uh, it would be great to be able to add images. But there are some problems with that. And these problems are mostly, mm, like there's two parts of the problem. So, since these nodes are rendered as uh, as uh, under the hood, as HTML and JavaScript stuff, um, they need to be able to take the pictures from somewhere, and browser JavaScript code can't really dig for your uh, local files. It's a security measure. So someone needs to be giving those images, or or they need to be pre-built in something, but. But that's not the case, like this will be the images that you can add uh, into into your own nodes, so they can't be pre-packaged. Uh, so they need to be coming from somewhere, so they will be coming from Sanctuary set, from the Unity side of code. And and uh, um, and that's uh, that's great, okay. So we'll be sending images from Sanctuary to to like the browser renderer. Mm. But uh, then also the problem for fire, so where do we take the images from? So for that usually you have some sort of like image image uh, browser, uh, file browser, no? So that doesn't come on its own with Unity, but I know this which is so cool that um, um, this package, and of course it's a browser, comes with its own, like, you know, you can have like in, in HTML, you can have these input fields, you know, but make them to the type of file, and then basically you get this cute button which opens up a file browser for you, depending on the, which, regardless of the operating system, and that's really cool. So, basically, I get the file browser for free accidentally by the fact that the uh, UI is being rendered with this browser thing and yeah 
that's great because they can provide me with those images but uh, and then uh, I can look at that I can uh, we can send that picture that we have here that we choose uh, choose uh, from the computer to have it and it's on the like, browser side because remember under the hood this is browser look that's that it's basically javascript and html code and that's it running a uh, kind of in unity and uh, and i'm gonna upload this image and like bam it goes into unity uh it's 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 like uh, you know it's a canvas it's a word space canvas with an uh, image on it and that's so cool they're just so crazy cool and the way it's working is okay i'm sorry i need to check if this thing is recording because i've made four attempts already in each time it turns out that i'm not recording okay it's recording great so uh there's that it's uploading uh, it's giving this image to unity and how's that for so uh, it, you know it's it just a test thing that it's because that thing is a console and so on so i just put this thing here it's not like where it's supposed to be also this computer doesn't serve much of a function apart from displaying this beautiful image of uh, was his name alexander i don't know uh, one of the siblings amazing scene at the end and they fight sloth anyway mm, anyway ah yeah so how, how does that work so it works if mm, rick starts with that input input field that you've already seen which is that and then uh, here i have a there is a handler from that event on change when its information being changed and then uh, the file reader reads and the selected file and it reads it in the end loads it as a string and this string is in base64 format which you can see if you will do that in a browser in an actual browser uh, that's the same uh, i'm running a local server to, to render that and here let's make it clear the console okay so now if we load one of those pictures here you can see don't worry about the error um you can see that that's what we basically get that's the log that's the first log here of result and what you get here is this uh basically a uh, base 64 blob uh which is it's, it's pretty big or like a tiny image like that this thing is huge but well that's that's images for you images are big and and that's uh, so the basics first starts here before that there's some sort of like this tiny metadata so i found someone's uh, cute method to deal with that because uh, i think it's a it's how the file reader reads it I think it reads it into base64 uh, and by default so it will, should always be like that from what I understand and so we split it here because we don't want that metadata uh, we just want the image image data which is in that base64 format so like yeah that's super cool like that's how it like this cut this cut is that text basically matrix for you and and so then uh, what I'm doing what I'm doing here is I'm sending this through uh, like a um, global method which does not which is registered here in like the clear clear in like global declarations uh, no one's actually doing anything with it here so that's why there is this error here because not function because no one can actually registered for it so um, but in unity uh, here um, you see there is this place where I registered to that on image data that's the name of that function you see on image data and in unity registered to that 
and I get that X which is that image data because you see I'm pushing the data here so all that long string uh, describing that image is being pushed here and then I send it for like a checker event uh, of that image data and basically all these events are these tiles you know, can be seen viewed as tiles here uh, and oh, for example you can see obviously there's the image data being created the flower pot means that someone just created it realm created it and the uh, target emoji means that someone received it and so re it was received by image data displayer and image data displayer is like an object of an instance of that class which is kind of in that computer and what this thing is doing is converting into bytes from that base 64 string that we have uh, on every side and and then we create texture and from texture we create a sprite and sprite can be uh, put into that image uh, here UI image here which is you know simply uh, which is simply this oh you can see oh, here that's a simply like uh, you need the UI image thing um, oh my god I really hope I'm at least talking loud enough I really don't want to do it for the sixth time mm. but yeah so and that's how it works it's simple I mean, no, it's not simple. I've spent some time doing that, but it's it's quite kind of like magical. I don't know. I've never before done, you know, binary data of images and then like you know transforming it into the, like this formatted string and out and back into bytes. And that's super cool because now Sanctuary ha Unity has access to your file system, so. If I can write notes, I can also write images, and that's basically that image data. So, it, once you upload it to your note, it can be saved, and then Unity can feed it back to to the browser if needed, and it will be needed later because just as much I could do it from this side to Unity, I can do it the other way around, and. That solves the problem of dealing with files uh, in in a web project. Yeah, so I think that's kind of it. It's really cool. I'm super happy with it. I'm super happy. Yeah, that's just like so cool because this thing that's all like browser. There's a separate like browser uh, process running somewhere. I don't remember what its name was. But you know, if there's Unity running now, there is somewhere a separate process uh, running for that browser. That browser sends that information in this formatted huge string thing. You know, oh, no, no, it would be hard to go back. In a huge string. Then I can and it render it gets rendered here as an image. It's it's magical. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. I don't think it's being like rendered like it's flipped, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. So yeah. Super happy with that. I need to share. Like I guess the next step will be yeah. To actually put that into notes. So yeah. Let's see, let's see. So for now the, the nodes that are number are fading because it's not present when they overlap when I mean, they're close. But yeah, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I think uh, That looks fun. Do we 
would you maybe consider going back to sleep? No? Okay. We'll come back to it later. I see you're doing some important task now. Very important, yes. Warm light 